Welcome everybody to episode 337 of House and Garden Flipper. We are heading over to finish off the final room in the two-story semi-detached house and take that thing to auction. So we'll go and do that. And then uh, I think we might head on over to the almost only, only a garden house and just see how well we did that. That was my office for ever so long. Um, which means we'll have a decision to make about the uh, the other one. This is my two-story semi-detached American garden. All right, bottom room. I really wish I could revamp the stairs, but there's there's no no way to do that just yet. We have our study nook at the end of the corridor. We have Grandma's room. Grandma loves her chandeliers. We also have Grandma's bathroom, so that's all done. We have a psychomantia for anyone in this large family who wants a little bit of time to contemplate. This is the oldest daughter's bathroom. Sometimes gets shared with the people coming out from downstairs. She uh, she copes. And I, I thought this time we would do a fluffy pink um, bedroom just because I never do them, basically. Uh, I'm not sure how we want to go about this. I know, I know she probably would like her privacy, so I'm thinking we will tuck the bed over here. So we'll just grab our bedrooms and we'll find something suitably fluffy and pink and girly. I know, I don't like it, but it's pretty. It's very pretty because I don't think I see that, that quilt pattern anywhere else. Uh, we have the double bed heart. Oh, I would love to have this quilt cover, the pink floral shoots quilt cover, on this bed because it would look gorgeous. Uh, anyway, so not that bed. Double bed elegance. Well, she's a teen. She doesn't really need a double bed. She probably would like one to stretch out in though. Let's have a look at this. Okay, there's nothing pink in there. It goes. There's nothing pink in there. That goes. Double bed bronze. The closest I can note. <laughs> um, we've, we've done the warmy for the parents' room. I don't know how she'd feel about it. Actually, you know, that's not too bad. She might not. All right, I might keep the double bed warmy in mind because it's kind of a really cozy sort of bed. We also have this one, which we could couple with some white wood. That would probably work a little bit. Oh, what else have we got? Do, 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 do. Double bed of Ryan. All right, that's right. My problem with this bed is always that I can't get a decent coverlet. I mean, I probably could go that way. That, that might work. Um, not with the white. That that would work, but it, I don't know if that's really a girly, girly bed. I know. This is me, a not very girly person trying to do a really girly bed. I know. Oh, what's that give up now? Shush. I want to do something, just something pretty. I mean, floral shoots in this color would be would be nice too. Um, and then there's the, the white. There's nothing really that goes with it. The light gray. Do I have a gray? But it's gray. All right, so no. Oh, man, I know. Just make up your mind. What about a wall bed? Really?
I like the warmth of the wood. It's not very princessy though, is it? And we're not doing that. Alrighty, so I think I think we're not going to be able to do too much princess style. I mean, we do have the floral shoots better. Maybe that's not me, but maybe maybe that will work. Let's have a look at our beach. The beach is nice. The greys are lost here, and and it's a little bit too close to the goth stuff that I've done in the past, so maybe not. American elm beach. Cedar. Cedar's nice. Okay, let's go with this because it's it's pink. We also have subtle f Ooh. Okay, no, let's let's just stick with what we had. I mean there there is your rose fl Uh huh. See, not even grandma would go with that one. Alright, let's go with beach. That is bigger than it looks. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting it in here like this. Okay, that doesn't give me a lot of space. So okay, so my original plan won't work, but what I might do is I might put this one Let me just see if I can fit a really narrow. Uh, we don't need one on both sides, do we? All right, let's just pop this up against here. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to have a um, bedside cabinet. Uh, no, no, I want timber. Okay, so there's a timber and we don't have beach. I have elm. It's it's a close match. And then I want something really like a pretty lamp to go on it here. So we need the prettiest lamp we can find. I like the candlesticks, but that's not really the best idea. So we don't have any really delicate girly kinds of lamps. Let's have a look at this. She needs a book. Ah, uh, we should go accessories, hobbies. Uh, we've already used Mermaid Shaw, maybe uh, Sweet Dessert, Cyber Drifter, Gardening. How much of... We, we could do an absolutely unusual... Let's go European Castles. Princess likes to read about castles, there we go. All right, what else can I have? Did I turn that light on? No, turn the light on. So the next thing I was thinking of doing was putting some kind of shelves in that would act almost like a privacy screen for that part of the room. Um, but maybe she would prefer to have them here and have her wardrobes or dressing table there. So let's, so if I did something like, um, I don't know, living room and shelves, and I was thinking something you could see through like the ones downstairs, because they're, they're more solid and, um, and practical. So, I mean, you've also got the van, but I think that, I mean, it's solid. Actually, it is solid, isn't it? How does it look in white? No, wait, it's uh, beach, isn't it? I don't know. 
So I was thinking, maybe put this here. Oh, I know. And then we could... So it's not, like, all closed in. And then I, I guess we can go to office and, and pick probably that if it comes in beach. The pine would be the closest, I think. Oh, ugh. Okay, no, we're not doing that desk then. Uh, there's a light colour. There's a wood art. Uh, there's a wooden. American Elm is the closest we can get. We'll do the light legs. Um, and then you could maybe put this here. I don't know if I like that there. You could maybe grab that. I think it's probably the best place for it, unless you're going to put it at the end of the bed. But then you don't have a lot of space to manoeuvre. So, okay. Because I remember this has to be a children's room as well. So we could go with that. Now, I've just recalled that there is a slightly nicer, or well, not nicer, but a more... See, I mean, there's an Alice, which is smaller. But it fits the feel of the room. My hands are full. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, I, I bought it. That's right. So I'm trying to I'm trying to pick up this other desk with uh, with my hands full of the first one. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's like what? What do you mean my hands are full? Oh, uh, yeah. So we have an Alice light. And Alice wooden. We have his standard. I think it's the Alice I was thinking of. They're only small desks, but the, the it matches the the kind of the bed feel. It's just not as light, and it, there's no beach option. So I mean, we could could pop that in there if we wanted, but then it it isn't practical for the drawers. So might just put this here. Um. I don't know. Or possibly, let me just grab that, pivot that to there. Oh wait, could have a desk nook here. There we go. I know, give me a minute. I'm still not 100% how I want to go, sure of how I want to do this. So let's let's have a look at our cabinets. So I'm thinking the Alma, actually that is a tiny chest of drawers. It is, it's just, it doesn't come in beach. All right, so no. Go into wardrobes for this. So, I mean, we have the wardrobe Charles and it comes in beach. And we could just put that here. So now she has like a private space, but the thing is, is she loses, oh wow, okay, that's not going to work, is she loses all of that area if we do it that way. So let's just grab this. Just let me put that there for a minute. We could put the desk under the, under the window. But I think we might just grab a dressing table set. And I want a small, a smallish, like this but tiny. Okay, we can do the floral sheets. No. But it's light coloured. I need I need uh, wooden, there we go. Except I don't have a wood that matches, except for that one. Let's have a look. It, it could do. You could flip it, pop it there. And then I guess you could go with... I mean, that's cute, isn't it? Comes in beach. You could just kind of put that over here. Grab this. Put it there. Okay, so okay, now that, that'll do. Yeah. Wardrobes here, there's probably not a lot we can do. We can pivot it 
and put it here uh, which would just ask like the room would ask for that to go over there at that point in which case you lose your little nook it's, it's not too bad idea if we grab this I mean it put it there you've still got space you can see you've got space there for the thing it just looks a little odd but then if you grab this okay that goes there I know I'm not too sure about this big this big wooden cupboard thing I don't oh I know what we could put in let me just grab bedroom and then we grab wardrobes and then I think what we'll do is we'll grab our stylish wardrobe which is tiny but it does come in comes in light nut and American elm let's have a look at light that might work it's almost beachy and we'll zap that all right I know now that corner looks empty but what she's got is she's got like a little entryway and then she's got her room proper over here and I think that's probably what we'll do um, so we've made a cozy space in the in here let's go for our carpets and see what we can find that might suit the area so we'll go for our decorations we'll go for floor okay there's nothing delicate about those colors I was kind of hoping for a delicate pink um, that I could use on the floor the, at the moment the white would be about the only one suiting let's have a look at our harems because we've got this oh boy let's not do that to her no um the agrodo that looks like a unicorn threw up let's not do that to her okay maybe none of those uh, this is this is where it gets a little tricky uh, we do have purple circles which if I'd use that pattern on the bed we could match it through we can use a wood with uh, resorix and uh, let's have a go at that maybe that oh no no spots before the eyes so that would be the best suited like the stronger color in there all right so we will go with the gray so we could just I know I really would like something can I no okay and I can't increase the size with this one we have to pop it Put that one there uh, or we could just grab this oops pivot that it doesn't look right all right so we will put that one there uh, I'll see if I can find a strip a strip of rug in here so we have our green we have our oblong we have our navy we have the purple circles rug which is I mean it's that rug without oh we could do that couldn't we yeah let's do that it's it's brighter for some reason All right now I really want something like that for here uh, in the long and the narrow which which could be interesting yeah see that's gonna be the closest I can get to it and it's too dark everything else is so light though I see that's too gray looks a bit grubby all right hmm 
So it may just be that I need to um, to get the purple circles rug and live with it. Just pop it over here. Ready go. All right, which means I want something on this wall because it's too blank. I don't want anything there because it's too narrow. So we do definitely want something here. We could mirror that there, but I think that's too solid. Let's um, let's go with let's go with this furniture, living room, shelves. And I might go with wooden and hopefully we can get beach out of it. No, American Elm, that'll do. <laughs> He's already complaining about where the other stuff, you know, if I move this over slightly and then I grab one of these shorter ones. this it's not quite the effect I was after okay um I wanted to have like this much width with a low shelf and then the tall shelf beside it but that's that's not gonna work so what we'll do is we'll do it in reverse I will put this one down here okay at the moment it's a home library I forgot I've got to turn it into a um into a children's room so let us grab our children's room making stuff grab our kids I know you, you wait he's not gonna like this at all uh, I think we need a ragdoll suit in here let's buy that And if this 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 one's like many others, she won't want her won't want her um her doll to be sitting alone. Not quite at a children's nope. <laughs> it's really hard to work out exactly what you need. We'll have Amadeus. Amadeus is a cute little teddy, especially in pastel rose. Actually we might just grab him. Well, evict the bunny, put Amadeus by the pillow. No, still a home library. I forgot to put a chair in. We'll do that as well. I uh, will go furniture. We'll go office. Do these chairs come in pink? Oh, yes, they do. But they don't fit well under the desk. Let's see if we can find something a little bit more cooperative. Probably in the dining room. And probably under chairs. Let's go with the Loelo in the pastel rose with the nice white legs. There we go. Because I can tuck that in there. Now she probably needs a computer. Let's let's fix that up. We'll go electronic equipment. We'll go entertainment. Uh, we'll go with the ergonomic monitor with the pink this time because hey I can oh my goodness that thing is overkill is it not <laughs> but I can make things I can make things so very pink in here so so let's let's go with the uh, with everything pink and see how that see how that works oh whoa alrighty and uh, <laughs> go with the mouse here we are I've got to find some way to put the box as well. Uh, I think I think there's probably going to be some cords. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do. Let me just grab that chair out, uh, and we'll just move this this way, and we'll just move this here, here. Oops. Here, grab that. Pop that in there. 
and we'll just put the box in there. If I put it on the other end of the, uh, the computer, it's likely to get kicked and we don't want that to happen to it. That would be bad. So we have a brushy, we have a sphinx and we have a phoenix. Let's give her a mid-range phoenix. We'll pop that down there. There we go. All right, and she can still fit through here. Yep, that works. All right, now I just have to work out how to turn this office into a kid's room. Uh, I think I can add more toys, but I, I may actually have to add a ball. We'll find out. Let's let's go with the kid stuff. Let us go with... Do they come in pink? You know they do. And they come in lots of sizes. How big is an extra large star? All right, we need to buy a few of these. I know. All right, so that was Not too bad, let's just zap these around. I'm not going to draw any constellations. We're just going for the pink effect. All right, that didn't turn it into a kid's room. Fine. Two fat stool, we have a rocking horse, we have a doll stroller. Maybe she keeps. I know, grab this doll house and we'll put it up here. Nope, still not a kid's room. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, four toys. I'm going to try one more, not, uh, not a ball toy, and we'll just see if that will flip it so maybe we'll have our teddy bear and we'll pop the teddy bear on the end of the bed yes okay so you need five toys and they they don't have to be balls or blocks they can be stuffed stuffed toys uh, now we have the Johnsons complaining that we have two kids rooms but they have three and we've somehow managed to get the Smiths up to the top but do you know what I think that might be where we where we leave them. We might just grab our um I was thinking of putting curtains on the windows, so I'll see if I can do that without too much faffing about. We want the patterned wide. And we want floral shoots if we can get it, because there's nothing pink. Yeah, let's go this. I don't know if it'll look any good though. No, okay, so that's not gonna it's not gonna cooperate nicely for us. So we won't do that. Uh, what else we got? We need flowers. Flowers are good. I'm going to put one here. Actually, I'm going to just go overkill with the flowers. I know, I want to put one near the desk. I might actually put one here. There we go. We still haven't put up, I'm going to grab the, uh, maybe the teddy bears picture in here. It's like all these teddy bears and kittens and things. There's that one. But I was thinking. There's that one as well that I was thinking of, but there is but I know so many buts ifs ands and buts see how that looks uh, all right how does it look in large just want to center it and then I want to put in this space we're going to go with shelves And I'm going to grab oh, I, 
can do pastel rose here. It's not going to be quite very bright, but it'll give us like a little space there. Let's bring that slightly off center. Now the reason it's a bit bigger than the rest is because on the top shelf, I wish to put a uh, one of these in the pink. And actually I want to put, is that a Chevrier going to work? Let's try this. Oh my goodness, no. I thought that was much smaller. I always forget the size of those things. I don't really want to put another one of those up there, but it would work. What we could do, let me just grab, let me grab the cyclamen and we'll put the cyclamen down here. We'll grab this thing and it can go up here. That's what I was after, the effect. And then I guess I'll zap this one and we will grab the cyclamen again and put that one there. There we go. Just for a bit of variation. And then down here, I want something a little bit taller and I don't know if I can manage a plant to do that. But we are going to try with our orcas. Uh, I, I may be making a mistake with these, but let's find out. We'll go white on white. Ah, uh, yeah, they're a little bit big, aren't they? We just put that. No, that won't fit. All right, maybe not the orcas. What about the spathophyllum in the pink with the white? See, it's it's smaller, but will it fit on this shelf? It will right on the edge. There we go. That'll do. All right, that is our girls' children's room. And it looks like even though I've designed it <laughs> for the Johnsons, the uh, the Smiths have decided it's going to be their house. And I'm not going to deny them the opportunity. So on that note, let's take this house to auction. Submit it for the garden contest. We're going for the American garden. Um which which it's very happy with our efforts on it's well lit professional practical and has a lot of plants we've increased our house price by 50 percent we are going to put the house on auction all right Giorgio doesn't like it but he was still going to bid a little bit more than what we paid for it clean No, I've offended Raphael Urko's masculinity again. What I don't understand is why why they're saying why the clean is is down when we've actually gone through and there's no more dirt. Alright, let's um they're not gonna negotiate up, but we're gonna try anyway. Cause you never know your luck in a big city, but usually when the bid is that low over the original price, they say no. There, there we go. All right, 217 profit. Not what I was hoping for, but okay. This always happens when I try and go for a particular client. We'll accept their offer and uh, go through the photographing. I love this part of the apart the the thing, except this isn't showing me the changes we made. That's okay. There we go. So that house is sold. Uh, we're going to head, I think we might actually try for a second auction. We've got a little bit of time. So I'm going to try and auction the, the littlest office, maybe. Uh, and we might keep our office in this one and develop. Because I think we're, we're down to only a couple of houses now. All right, in our browser, we have the Just Married's house, which is where our office is, the Alone Home house. And the almost only a garden house and i've had this like forever so i might just see if there's a lot to do in the garden we've cleaned most of it up we've renovated the house into a small small little office and um i was going for an english garden feel with it so but I, I i'm still puzzled by where the dirt is because we cleaned it and there was no dirt Huh. 
Right, so this is what we've got so far for the garden. I'm actually inclined to, we'll grass down this area here and we'll put some more grass down here. And I'm, I'm actually inclined to leave to leave it fairly much as it stands. Just just have a really simple kind of garden feel. Maybe put a gazebo up here with a table and chairs under it so people can enjoy being outside. And over in here, this is our mulch area. We have a shed. Have I equipped it yet? I don't know. No, well that's easy enough to equip. So that would be all we would do and then we would auction it inside this little house because it's been a while since we've been here. But inside it we already have a small office, uh, a very tiny, tiny little kitchenette and a really tiny bathroom which the person who owns it will be able to get into but I can't. All right and that's that's it. We even have, we even managed to get some pictures up. So basically, I'm really curious to see, Raphael Urko, seriously, really curious to see who would buy it. But let's, uh, before we go anywhere, let's just grab our surfaces, grab our turf sod, grab our turf roll. Can, how big is the extra large? Uh, I think I might be a sad panda if I try that one. Let's just go with the medium roll uh, because we'll, we'll, see where that that lands us okay that's it that's all I can do because these these plants are in the way actually give me a minute we'll just um we'll just move these little guys out of the way just for a tick and we'll put them back in a minute I know things I wish I could do with my own garden that I can't oh uh, there we go so we'll buy that one just pop it down And away we go. Yeah, excellent. And we just grab, I think we'll go back the other way. I can't lay. All right, yeah, I think what it is, yeah, it's a little bit over the, the concrete. All right, so we'll just do a really quick uh, turf turf roll. I'll put those plants back in a minute. Might go with a large on this section. Bring that all the way down. I'm excited. The um, This is the first episode I've recorded since they made the announcement that they were putting, uh, they're releasing Luxury Flipper on the 14th. So, very much looking forward to that. The 14th of October, it's uh, not that yet here. All right, so we've covered the grass there. I think I need to put lights in as well. Let's, um, oops, I know I forgot to put my plants back. Let's just grab these guys. They, they, they don't look out of place there, to be honest. I could scatter patches of them all over the lawn. I might just grab a small turf roll and just clear this bit up. Ooh, extra small. Remember when they first released the turf rolls? They used to be a little harder to work out. Okay, so we've got our turf down. Let's grab our, I wonder if our extra large will do this space. Just bring it back. I, I may be a little bit far out here. I could get closer to the house, but that's okay. We'll, we'll use a small one to get in close. They used to only have like, is it two sizes or one size? I love having these big sizes now. You know, I'm going to be ultra lazy and very uneconomical. And I'm just going to grab another extra large. And pop that down. And then we'll just patch the last couple of bits of yard. So I think this will be 
probably the size for a medium. Yeah. That's done. And I'm just going to see how well I go with an ultra small and how close we can get. That is such a useful size, right? Oh, wow, that's good. Okay. Haha. <laughs> okay, this area is turfed. We have our orchard. We have other bits. Uh, we're going for an English garden. Technically, I don't really need to have a... Um, try and get this to cover that space up there. Can I run with it? No. <laughs> no, rolling out the turf has to be done carefully. All right, get that done. And we'll just wander back over here. I think we'll just keep starting from this end until we're done. Just going to get a little bit of overlap, maybe. I think I missed. No, we did it. If you overlap a tiny bit, you don't have any lines in your grass. I don't think you can overlap in real life. Might as well move all of that. There we go. Excellent. A little bit more. Oh, I need to patch that up as well. Can be done. Just move that there. Pop that in there. I'm actually, I really like this garden. I will probably miss it. I like being able to have picked the, the plants around the, um, the trees. I've mixed in berry bushes with flower bushes, which is something um, you can do with with your English garden, I, I'm glad to say. I think, I think I have to put some maybe some more flowers in, but maybe not. I don't know. I, I like it like this. So I don't really want to mess with it too much more. Get this all the way through. I know. I was watching those lavender bushes on the um, on the left. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of patching. I'll grab my small rolls and we'll just pop those down, roll them out. Aha, the bigger rolls take longer to spread. Oh, that makes sense. Let's grab our medium for that one. So you can roll, roll these a little bit faster. And just this patch here. We'll try with a small. Probably should have gone with a medium, but that's okay. And then we'll go with an ultra small. It's really like using uh, elastoplast on the, the garden. There we go. All right, so I'm thinking that this is pretty much how I want this garden to be. Oh, whoops, except for this. We don't want this. Let's just use a large. And we'll just, because the medium won't quite cover this wider section. Uh, it would have covered everything else pretty well. All right, so we have cherries, pears, apples. All right, we've got plums, everything's in there. Um, I know I forgot to put in the let's just very quickly put in some cupboards into the into the shed shelves shelf it actually we've got these now haven't we can I fit make it a sturdy wooden make it out of cedar cedar's resistant to a lot of things can it Okay, that's just that little bit too big. All right, fine. We'll go with Nico Wooden and we'll go with Cedar again because it's, you know, termite resistant. Um, it's not going to let me. Oh, spoil sports. 
All right, in that case, let me find the, um, the garage shelves. Let's see if these will fit. Oh, no, they won't fit. What did I put in here last time that acted as shelves? Pretty sure it was not the bookcase Carly. Ah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, what about the van? Pretty sure the van's not going to fit. Ah, uh, yeah, it's too long. Just when you think you know what you're doing. Okay, so we're going to go for... All right, I think it ended up being these things here. Let's just grab our wooden and uh, steel and cedar is probably a good combination. All right, let's, uh, let's pop that up there. I'm almost tempted to put a work table in at the end here. So you can maybe... Although these narrow benches you could do potting on as well, I guess. Let's pull that out of the wall a little bit. Uh, I can't fit one there. That's all right. Now we have our shelves. Let's grab our garden tools. Uh, where did we find those? I think we found those. Yeah, over here. No. Uh, let's rake. Ah, it's in accessories. All right. Accessories tools there are two tool spots okay we would like a rake because this garden is going to have a few leaves we could probably do with a shovel there we go everyone can do with a shovel how else are you going to deal with these zombies in the zombie apocalypse i know right uh we could also do with maybe a wood saw i know technically you're not supposed to bring with these um well, oops, they're very effective. Uh, then we go with, that's a metal saw. I could pretend it's a hacksaw. We need a hoe. We need at least one hoe to hoe up the plants when we're refreshing them. We need, what else do we need in here? Everyone needs a crowbar. Pop that over there. Do we have a chainsaw? Yes, we have a chainsaw and an axe. All right, let us, oh my goodness, that is, it's not going to fit in my shed. All right, well, um, hmm. let me just grab my crowbar and we'll just um, pivot it over here. It should fit. All right, it'll fit on that shelf. Now we'll see if we can fit our chainsaw in. Right. <laughs> now we have a chainsaw. We also need an axe. I, I wish I could have like a hanger on the wall for some of these things. That would be kind of good. Uh, what else we got? I think I think that will do. What would we use a sledgehammer for? All right, I'll stop now. All right, that'll do. We now have stuff in our garden shed. I was going to put in a very light gazebo and a small dining area with grass underfoot for a change let's go with uh well i guess we can go straight with the lontano uh except i think that makes it difficult to put the gazebo down doesn't it i don't know let's find out structures gazebos actually you know what we don't want the lontano we want Now this garden doesn't have any rose bushes in, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. But I'm thinking a round gazebo with dome ornaments would be nice because we haven't done one for a while. Ah, uh, no, we want to do light ornaments. There we go. And we'll have it facing like that so it opens. And now we'll just put the thing together. I love the way they do this even if they've made it a lot easier. All right. So now we have now we have our gazebo. Let's go with the nice the, the metal furniture. So the metal garden furniture you can get. So we'll go with oops. Furniture and tables. It's one of the earliest ones. Let's go with the mino. And the light metal. 
and then we'll go with the the Mino chair because there is one again in the light but we might have you know I think we'll just go with the light blue in here I know what is it with blue and we'll just pop that there there we go and you know what I'm thinking that this little corner over here needs needs a needs a bench just a a simple I mean that's nice ah a simple garden bench actually I think we might put our simple garden bench up here and I think yeah now I'm thinking that looks a little bit bare so I might I might put a rose bush on each on each edge so we'll just go plants I know I'm running out of light we can't do that because the garden is the last thing to do in here uh, flowers I want a big bushy rose bush those are roadies did I go past the roses again I'm always going past the roses There they are. I don't know how many times. All right, and I think we're going to go with red, pink. No, red. Let's do red roses. Just going to go one and two. And three. Grab our lavender. Roses and lavender. Gotta be the hallmark of an English garden. And then over here, I still really want to do this. We want to put in a little round table. So I'm going to grab the Mino table again. It just looks like it should belong right there. And then I want a different chair. The Dali looks about right, but I was hoping for, yeah, no, that's the simplest chair we've got. Go with light. So there's just like a couple of spaces in the garden that you can put, that you can come to. All right, let's just... There's absolutely no dirt here maybe there was dirt on the fences in the other property and I missed it this one I'm pretty sure I've got all right I think it's time for our no it's not time for our second auction I've forgotten the garden lights we're gonna go with the gothic we're gonna put it into the gray and we're just gonna put a few a few of them around the garden Hopefully these things act as bug zappers as well. That would be kind of cool. Because there's nothing worse than trying to enjoy an evening in the garden while being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Yeah, we only need a few of these. Just to light that section. And I might put one here. Alrighty, and then we'll just drop a couple in around this space as well. All right, 
so that that is almost where we want to be oh we definitely want a light actually we want a light on the corner couple of lights up by the gate I know the rebus the rebus which are the berry bushes I've used here they don't like sharing their spaces at all So I think just pop something. And we've missed missed over here, which needs doing as well. Okay, so now we've got scattered pools of light throughout the garden, but not a lot of it. That will do. Let's put a uh, coach light up by the door here. I could probably just grab that and put it down there but that that is that is how we're gonna auction our garden if you're enjoying this episode so far please hit like and if you want to see more please hit subscribe and let's take this garden to auction all right we're going for an English garden this time there are a few things I haven't done like the brick walls and the vine covered walls wow but it liked it so that's good professional well lit practical and a lot of plants so you don't actually have to cover the entire garden with flowers when you do an english garden but you do have to include a few elements let's put this place on auction see who's going to buy it oh i know oh we might make our money back maybe it's insane who you can sell them to too it's crazy Raphael really likes this place. <laughs> I didn't tell you I wanted a sauna. Well, you should have thought about it yourself. Raphael, where in this little tiny box are you going to fit a sauna? It's going to be a sauna in summer anyway. Alrighty-o, let's see if we can negotiate up. I, I don't think we're going to, but you know what? You never know your luck. Does he like it enough? He does like it enough. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Let's accept his offer. So this is what we started with and this is what we ended up with. I love the way they do this. You forget with that one it's so easy all right but on that note i'm gonna leave you thank you very much for hanging with me and next episode we might head over keep this house as our office and head over to i keep calling it the christmas house but it's not it's the um the alone home it is the christmas house so that's what we'll start work on next episode Thank you for being around and I'll see you later.